tarmac swelters in Japan, where more than two-thirds of the country has been issued heat stroke alerts. Other countries across the world, including the US, Spain, Greece and Italy, are suffering from the heat. The southwest of the US is scorching because of a heat dome. A heat dome is caused by a mass of air building up and getting trapped by high pressure in the atmosphere. The high pressure then pushes the air down. The air near to the Earth's surface is squashed and gets even hotter, and the cycle continues. Scientists are trying to find out how much heat we can handle. An upper critical temperature has been observed in some animals, but strangely hadn't really been nailed down for human beings. Researchers analysed a group of people resting for an hour in the mid-20 degrees compared to in humidity at 40 and 50 degrees centigrade. They looked at their physiology and metabolic rates. Spending an hour at between 40 and 50 degrees centigrade in a humid environment was enough for the majority of the study's participants to show a noteworthy increase in their metabolic rate. The metabolic rate increased in the high temperatures more than the scientists expected. Such gains can be counterintuitive. Just at the point when the body clearly wants to be defending itself against increases in temperature, it is generating more of its own heat. Researchers are working to find out whether the spike is dangerous. In the meantime, we can try to keep cool. People underestimate the value of a fan. So a fan will uh, increase the rate of evaporative heat loss uh, by making the air immediately around one's body a little bit drier. Getting into cool water, a bath, if people have got a bath, getting under a cold shower, not too cold. Getting into a swimming pool, if they're lucky enough to have access somehow to a swimming pool. It's advice these people in Montenegro have already taken. <laughs>